Let's have a look at Mark chapter 10. Mark chapter 10. And he arose from thence, or he arose from there, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, and cometh into the coast of Judea by the farthest side of Jordan. And the people resort unto him again, and as he was one, he taught them again. And the Pharisees came to him and asked him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife, tempting him? In other words, for a man to divorce his wife. And he answered and said unto them, Why did, uh, What did Moses command you? And they said, Moses suffered to write, or allowed, to write a bill of divorcement and to put her away. Jesus answered and said unto them, from, For the hardness of your heart he wrote you this precept, but from the beginning of the creation God made them male and female. Note that. In this world that we live in, it's so confused about whether there's anything more than male and female. There's not. It's either male or female. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife, and they twain, or they two, shall be one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. In other words, God hates divorce. And in the house his disciples asked him again of the same matter, and he said unto them, Whosoever shall put away his wife and marry another committeth adultery against her. And if a woman shall put away her husband and be married to another, she committeth adultery. And they brought young children to him that he should touch him them. And his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased and said unto them, Suffer or allow the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. And he took them up in his arms and put his hands upon them and blessed them. So this just highlights the fact that if we want to be saved, we'll have to come like a little child to the Lord God Almighty, realizing our dependence upon Him to our salvation. You see, salvation is of the Lord. If we're ever going to be saved, we'll have to be God's Word. And God has provided salvation through His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, the one who was crucified for you and for me. Christ died for our sins according to scriptures and he was there. But praise God the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. So we've got to become as little children in dependence upon the Lord God Almighty for our eternal salvation. Salvation is of the Lord. God provides salvation. You see man-made religion is man trying to make it up to heaven from down here. It won't work. God has come down in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ to be our Saviour. God became a man, took upon himself a body, that he by the grace of God should taste death for every man upon the cross of Calvary. And he's the one who's been crucified for you and for me. Christ died for our sins according to scriptures and he was buried. And as I said, praise God, the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. Your soul can be saved if you put your faith alone in him. Realizing our sinful condition before the Lord is called repentance. Just change your mind. Agree with God that you are a sinner and place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. Do you like the way to heaven? Yeah. Have a good night. God bless you. Thank you. And when he was gone forth into the way, there came one running and kneeled to him and asked him, Good Master, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? Jesus uh, said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is God. Thou knowest the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not be a false witness, defraud not, honour thy father and mother. 
And he answered and said unto him, Master, all these have I observed from my youth. Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him, and said unto him, One thing thou lackest, go thy way, sell whatsoever thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. And come, take up the cross, and follow me. And he was said of that saying, and went away grieved, for he had great possessions. You know, that reminds me of the, the saying that goes on in this world, that he who dies with the most toys wins. But the problem is, he who dies with the least, uh, most toys still dies. And you and I have to realise we have an appointment with death. For it is appointed unto man, and as it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this the judgment. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. See, God wants to save your soul this afternoon. Will you come to the Lord Jesus Christ and believe upon him to become a child of God? We are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Jesus looked round about and said unto his disciples, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? And his disciples were astonished at his words. But Jesus answered again and said unto them, Children, how hard is it for them that trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of God? It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And they were astonished out of measure, saying among themselves, Who then can be saved? And Jesus, looking upon them, said, With men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible. You know, he's not saying it's impossible for a rich person to be saved. He's just saying it's very really hard, it's very really difficult. Why? Because they're trusting in their riches. And if you and I trust in anything else but the Lord Jesus Christ, we, we will be in hell when we die. God does not want that for you. God wants your soul to be saved. And that's why I'm here this hour to bring you the message of hope and salvation to our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Then Peter began to say unto him, Lo, we have left all. And they followed thee. And Jesus answered and said, Verily or truly I say unto you, There is no man that hath left house, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands for my sake, and the Gospels, but he shall receive an hundredfold now, in this time, houses, and brethren, and sisters, and mothers, and children, and lands with persecutions, and in the world to come, eternal life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last first. And they were in the way going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus went before them, and they were amazed. And as they followed, they were afraid. Like the way to heaven. Have a good night. God bless you. And he took again the twelve and began to, to tell them what things should happen, uh, unto him, saying, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be delivered unto the chief priests, and unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death, and shall deliver him to the Gentiles, and they shall mock him, and shall scourge him, in other words, whip him. Would you like the way to heaven? And shall spit upon him, and shall kill him, and the third day he shall rise again. And James and John and the sons of Zebedee come unto him, saying, Master, we would that thou shouldest do for us whatsoever we shall desire. And he said unto them, What would ye that I should do for you? They said unto him, Grant unto us that we may sit, one on thy right hand and the other on my left hand. In thy glory. But Jesus said unto them, Ye know not what ye ask. Can ye drink of the cup that I drink of, and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? And they said unto him, We can. 
And Jesus said unto them, Ye shall indeed uh, drink of the cup that I drink of, and with the baptism that I am baptized with all, shall ye be baptized. But to sit on my right hand, and on my left hand is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them to whom, or for whom, it is prepared. And when the ten heard it, they began to be much displeased with James and John. But Jesus called them to him and said unto them, Ye know that they which are accounted to rule over the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and their great ones exercise authority upon them. But so shall it not be among you. But whosoever will be great among you shall be your minister. And whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be servant of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. That's the reason the Lord Jesus Christ left heaven to glory, my friend, to die upon the cross and give his life for you and for me. It's like the way to heaven. Yes, the Lord Jesus Christ sacrificed himself upon the cross of Calvary for you and for me, so that you and I could be saved. You and I have a soul that needs to be saved. And if we don't have salvation, we'll have damnation. It's either one or the other, my friend. God wants to save your soul this afternoon. Will you come to the Lord Jesus Christ? Glad to heaven. Will you come to the Lord Jesus Christ and believe upon him? Put your faith alone in him for your eternal salvation. The Lord Jesus Christ shed his precious blood upon the cross, in whom we have redemption, through his blood even, the forgiveness of sins. Yes, the Lord Jesus Christ came to give his life a ransom for many. And they came to Jericho, and as he uh, went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. And when uh, he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Many charged him that he should hold his peace. They wanted him to be quiet, in other words. But he cried the more, a great deal, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. You know, the Lord Jesus Christ will take notice of you if you want to be saved. If you want to come to faith in Christ, if you want to have forgiveness for your sins, the Lord Jesus Christ will take notice of you. He'll stand still and take notice of you. He will not ignore you, my friend. And that we see the love of God fully displayed in the person of Christ, dying on the cross of Calvary for you and for me. As I said before, Christ died for our sins according to Scriptures, and he was buried. And he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. So this man, blind Bartimaeus, came to the right person. He came to the Lord Jesus Christ, the only one that can save us. The only one that can save our souls. We have a soul that needs to be saved if we do not receive salvation. We'll die and go down to hell, my friend. God does not want that for you. He wants to save your soul this afternoon. We come to the Lord Jesus Christ and believe upon Him and become a child of God. We are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Right the way to heaven. Do you want one? Thank you. Sorry. Do you want one? Have a good night. God bless you. Yes, and Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called, and they called a blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise, he calleth thee. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. 
And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. What a wonderful transformation this man had, blind Bartimaeus. He could see now at last. You and I are blind spiritually speaking. Our eyes need to be opened to spiritual things. We need to be born again. We need the new birth. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And so this is absolutely urgent and it's essential that we come to faith in Christ, that we put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ so that we can be in heaven. You see, you cannot be in heaven apart from the Lord Jesus Christ. You've got to come to Him. You've got to come in repentance toward God, that is, a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner and then place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it now before forever and eternally too late. If you're interested in this, uh, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.